central Kenya, yes. in the entire sub sub Saharan Africa. Yes. Buana Nabulindo, when you came here, yes. Nilikueleza, yes. this is the fastest growing party south of the Sahara and north of the Limpopo. <laughs> Leo umejionea vile chama kinakuwa. Yangu as a supporter wa hiki chama ni kuwashukuru na kusema I will support you. Mimi sisimami kitu chochote lakini I will support you. Lakini pia nilitaka ni waeleze wale umekuja hapa. Mumesema mambo ya wenzetu walio poteza muelekeo wakaenda barabara nyingine. Wakati sote tumejua serikali ya azimio ndio hii. Tuko tunaingia serikalini na wao wamepoteza network. Niwambie msiwe na wasiwasi. Ukiangalia historia yao kawaida ni watu wa kupoteza network. Kila mara serikali kiva tangu tuo tu musalia anasalia wapi nyuma. Na mwishowe musali anasalie inje ya serikali. Hivo ndio ilikuwa wakati wa NAC 202. Tumeunda jubili ndio huyo tena kajipata inje. Azimio ndio hii naunda serikali. We can see it mchana. Ndio huyo tena amepoteza network. Anenda wapi? Upinzani. Leo na wauliza nyote mulio hapa. Munataka tuwe ndani ya serikali ama tusalie na msalia inje. Tusalie inje ama tuwe ndani. Wangapi wanasema ndani, 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 ndani. Basi, you are in the right place. You are in the right place and we are on the right journey. Sababu, mimi wananita kwesle huko bungoma na kitali. Kule kakamega wananita na angofia. Kule busia wananito ugwasle. Yani hiyo ni ndege ambayo inajua direction. Nukipotea tu uniulizi. <laughs> Na ndiyo sababu sijawahi ipoteza hiye sabu. Hata hii haki ya mungu serikali ni Raila Molodinga. Kile ni meshanga ni kumuona ndugu yetu msalia kukubali ye kuwa the attack dog ya mwishmiwa bosi wake sasa. Na kubaliana na ndugu Savula ya kwamba it's very uncharacteristic ya msalia kuwa an attack dog. It is not like him. Ye as we know he's been the gentleman of Kenyan politics. Like my late brother Michael Kijana Wamalo. Like Mwai Kibaki. Sijui huu jamaa amekula nini juzi amebadilika kuwa vila amekua. Si hata mnyenye pia amewashangaza. Yeah. Sababu <laughs> huu jamaa tulikuwa tunafikiria anatubeba western kutupeleka state house kumbe anatubeba tupeleka kwa wilbaro. Nyinyi mnaweza toshia kwa wilbaro. <laughs> si aende peke yake basi. <laughs> Leo nilitaka tu niseme Ndugu yangu msalia, wewe salia inje serikali na marafiki zako. Lakini tafadhali, muheshimu mweshimi wa rais. Yes. If you accept to be an attack dog of one Uhuru Kenyatta, then be prepared for attacks. Yes. Be prepared for scrutiny of your record. Yes. You better be prepared, my friend. The English say when you're in a glass house, do not throw stones. Yeah. We cliff Musalia Mudavadi, do not throw stones. You're in a glass house, my brother. Do not throw stones at Uhuru Muigai Kenyat. He has been your friend. He has stood by you. Just like Prime Minister Raila did in 202, in 207. I think this is one thing Nataka Niseme Hapa. So, Abu Nimeshanga. Ye ya kisema hakuna kitu uhuru amefanya. Hata ukienda vihiga, msali alikuwa vice president. Alikuwa waziri for over 20 years. Amekuwa deputy prime minister. Leo kwa serikali hii ya uhuru kenyata, 
mimi naweza sema uhuru has done more in Vihiga County than Musalia Mudavadi ever did. Maji ambayo sasa tunaenda kuzindua Vihiga. 1.8 billion nikiwa waziri wa maji nimeanzisha mradi ambao mheshimiwa rais anaenda kufungua maji haya watakunywa kule Bunyore watakunywa Tiriki watakunywa kwa Wamaragoli ni maji gani msali ameleta Vihiga County barabara ambaye yeye inampeleka nyumbani vile ndugu msa, uh, Ayub amesema he was finance minister he was vice president barabara yake kwenda Mululu village imekuwa ya vumbi hivi sasa inawekwa lami tangu dunia iumbwe na akianguka kura i will visit him one day i'll tell you my brother tangu huru kenyata utaenda nyumbani on a good road kama umeanguka kura lakini muheshimu mheshimiwa rais barabara ya kwanza kwa watiriki when he was vice president minister for finance na kila zile wizara zote watiriki who are marginalized in Vihiga county hawakupewa lami tangu dunia iumbwe mheshimiwa rais uhuru kenyata ndiye ameanzisha lami ya kwanza kwa watiriki kutoka Gisambai kwenda Shamahoho 1.2 billion ni barabara gani mheshimiwa Musali ameanzisha kwa watiriki Kuna watiriki hapa Mshawaiona alami huko kwenu Na sasa kando na hiyo barabara ya Gisambai kwenda Shamahoho Tumekuwa na mheshimiwa Rais Juzi na tumekuwa na mbunge wa Ikolomani Shinali na yeye ako kwenye budget committee ametueleza budget iko hiyo barabara isukume kutoka Shamahoho hadi Muhudu kutoka kwa Atiriki hadi kwa Idaho na hiyo ni kazi ambayo imefanywa na mheshimiwa Uhuru Kenyatta mara ya kwanza tuko na factory inajengwa vihiga kwa msali ya mdavid a granite factory tumepata investor Tuaenda huko na mheshimiwa rais kuzindua hiyo factory. Ni factory gani msali alianzisha vihiga? Factory ya pili mpya tayari tuko na contractor ako pale Ikolomani. Gold refinery Kakamega imeanzishwa wakati wa uhuru Kenyatta. Lastly, msali amekuwa vice president, deputy prime minister na wazi, uh, wizara zote amekuwa ni university gani yeye ameleta western university ya kwanza tumeletewa na mwai kibaki ile university ya masinde muliro ya pili tumeletewa na uhuru kenyata kibabi university and uhuru kenyata is the chancellor of kibabi university tuko na university mbili ambazo tukiwa na mheshimiwa rais tumesema yeye mwenyewe analeta chata ya university ya Kaimosi kwake kwa msali ya Mdavadi kutoka kule tunaenda Busia kupeleka chata ya Alupe University hizi university are bigger factories than Mumias and Nzuia they are going to revive the economy of western Kenya toomba ndugu msalia we don't know his deal with William Ruto but we know what Uhuru Kenyatta is doing for our region and our country. Nakubali yale Janet Nangava amesema usimtusi mukunga kama uzazi. Serikali ya Uhuru Kenyatta haijakamilisha kazi. We still have time. We still have miles to go, projects to complete and we want Uhuru Kenyatta to come to Western Kenya. Na ametueleza tukiwa na mkutano this week ako anakuja kukamilisha miradi, kuleta maendeleo ndugu msalia kama wewe unataka kwenda kutanga tanga 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 peke yako uhuru atuletee nini maendeleo hapo tunakubaliana yeah. mwisho najua kuna ndugu yangu wa munyinya amesema hapa you buy one you get one free <laughs> sasa there's one free 
ambaye leo nataka pia ni mweke on notice ya kwamba miaka kumi amepewa nafasi na watu wa bungoma na watu wa